another day in lockdown. Today we're going to look at the Andre. It's a shot that world-class players play really, really well because they're well balanced, well aligned and demonstrate good, full completion of the shot. So let's just have a look at three Andre. So from the side view, what you'll notice again is that that diamond shape is created, bottom hand, fingers and thumb grip, forearms pretty much in line, flats out over off stump, first slip area, and the first thing that goes towards the ball is my head, so the head has to lead forward of the body. Because it's on the leg side, as you open up slightly to get at the ball, your back foot will begin to turn early. So both laces are pointing down the wicket really early on in the shot, which gives you that good alignment and that good balance. Let the ball come, make contact forward of the front pad, finish with the hands high, high leading elbow, and notice the head in the diamond shape created by the forearms. So let's have a look at a way of building this up. So what we'll do first is start from the finished position, the position you're in on contact. That way everything's in order. All you have to do is swing the bat through the line of the ball to target area, which is between we're trying to get the ball between the two green turns. The next phase of building that shot up would be set position and step. So I'm going to start with my feet reasonably close together, laces down the wicket so I'm initially well balanced and aligned to play any shot. Obviously if I want to play the off drive as I turn my shoulder then my foot goes across. But for this we're looking at the on drive. So feet together, laces down the wicket. Again, because my feet are very close together, it helps me get my upper body and head forward. Okay, now we've done that. We're going to try and put it all together, the sequence of body positions, and, and to be able to now try and do it from your stance. And again, you could do a three shot sequence, build up the body position and the muscle memory. So, one, again, finished position. One, where my feet are together, knees down the wicket and I'm stepping into the position. And finally, one from my stance. That's the on drive from the side view. Just one hot tip. The key difference between your foot positioning or your stride length on playing an on drive a straight drive or an off drive is that you take a shorter stride so on drive if this is short stride here straight drive you're going to go that little bit further but on drive small stride because it helps you to open up so you can let the ball come and it gives you good access to hitting the ball through mid on or flicking it through the leg side so on drive straight drive key point.
Now let's have a look at the on-drive from the front view. Let's play three shots so you can see what it looks like. Slightly open stance, so that front shoulder out of the way, so your head stays wicket to wicket. Okay, from this angle, what we're looking for is the batter to be really well aligned and balanced. So if that front shoulder is too far around, then this can happen, or a player can try and reopen and do this. So what we're looking for is on contact, head is over the ball, we're making contact forward with the front pad, and our laces are down the wicket, head wicket to wicket and stump to the other end and you could drop a line through your nose your chest bone and between your feet and this is put you in a really well balanced position so you get great access to the ball and can keep the bat through the line of the ball for as long as possible and reach with a high check swing finish this sort of thing means that if the bat face closes quickly within the shot the hitting zone is small this is a more consistent a much more effective way of doing it for check swing. So with this shot, once you, you pick up the line of the ball and see it mid and leg, as your head goes in your shoulder opens, your bat will go out wider than your initial back lift. So it's more here. Shoulder opens. As the shoulder opens that makes it easier if you turn that back leg in early. And now the bat is going straight line through the ball to target area perfect way of playing the on drive. So now let's have a look at building it up from the front view. So first of all I'm going to start in the finished position. So this is the sort of stride I would have played to take in to hit the ball, play the shot, take my back swing, head out over the front ball, front foot, over the ball, one. Two, three. Now this time we'll add into the sequence set position and step. And again, the set position of the drill, if you start with your feet down the wicket, puts you in a great position. It's natural, it's biomechanically sound, great position, well balanced and aligned to hit the ball and get full blow of the bat through it for maximum time. Feet pretty much together, front foot slightly forward, the back foot, step and hit. Step, hit. That ball should be pretty much in line with your front pad. And if a bowler was bowling, if you missed it, it should hit you on the front front pad. People that put their foot here are going to fall over and end up doing this. Need one more. Feet down the wicket. Step. Play the shot. Now we'll do it from the, st uh, the stance. Feet all together. Now we could do the the three ball sequence, where we're trying to build up the technique. Put that down there. So, finish position, set position and step, and piece it all together, and there you have the on drive. It is played predominantly with your top hand, so top, all these straight drives, off drive and on drive, Top hand dominated, dominated shot. It helps you keep the bat on the line of the ball for as long as possible. This bottom hand needs to be fingers and thumb really, really uh, loose. So, have a go in your back garden at your local club. Put a target out. 
give yourself a challenge. 10 balls, how many can I hit between the coned area? The more you get through that area, the obviously the better you'll get it. So give it a go.